I have the opportunity to let everybody know that Riverside County is a Purple Heart County. And what more appropriate day than Election Day? One of the most significant things that are protected in our freedoms, the opportunities that we have, that we take for granted. Most countries don't have the opportunities that we have, but those are protected by those who choose to serve for us, those that stand up, and I'm talking in, in the armed forces. Johnny Griffiths and Grant, can you come up here? I'm gonna bring you up today. Come up here, yeah. Johnny is a recipient of a Purple Heart, and Grant runs our veteran services in Riverside County. And I brought them up both, because this to me is so significant, and most people don't even know what that is. In fact, how many of you knew yesterday was D-Day, one of the most important, it was the 78th anniversary of D-Day yesterday. You didn't see much about it on the news, did you? It's all about the elections, everything else. But how do we have those election opportunities? How do we protect that? Represented in that flag right there. We pledge that at every one of our board meetings. And we don't often take what that means. But those that are out there fighting for our freedoms and those that have preserved it in the past, that flag represents that. So we are, um, as I said, Riverside County is a Purple Heart County. I'm gonna have first Grant explain what that means. I could read my paper, but it's more coming from true veterans. I'm a veteran supporter, but I'd like to hear from one who has received the Purple Heart as well as our coordinator. Well, thank you, Supervisor Spiegel, and I wanna thank you for recognizing Johnny. Uh, I love Johnny, he's a, he's a brother in Christ and a, he's a patriot and the fact that he uh, you know, was a combat veteran and he did receive the Purple Heart. And Riverside County is a, a Purple Heart County and that we recognize and we offer, one, we honor and salute our veterans that receive the Purple Heart, but then we also have parking spaces. So if a veteran uh, comes to do county business, we, we have a Purple Heart uh, in front of the building uh, designated for those veterans. And it's a way of our appreciating and showing our, our love and, and support for our veterans that receive the Purple Heart. So thank you, uh, Johnny's a great, in addition to Johnny being a combat veteran and uh, he's also uh, a great supporter. Of, he's a, the right hand of our department. He, he partners with us. He formed a nonprofit organization called Veterans Honoring Veterans and he brings in veterans from his, out in the community to our office, helps them gather their information and helps them file claims to get the benefits they've earned and deserved. So he's a great partner in helping us uh, at our office as well. So. Wow, you know, 54 years ago, when I went into the Army, I never realized when I came back home to a nation that wasn't quite as grateful as they are now. It moves my heart, it touches me every time I walk down the street, or if I see a Purple Heart parking spot and I park there, I'll go into the restaurant or wherever it is and I'll say, hey, thank you for saving my spot. I kind of earned that thing many years ago, and I'm grateful. This honor today is not for me. It's for every veteran who gave blood for this country, for the reason that we are proud of this country. It may not be the perfect country, but we are Americans who serve this country proudly. So recognize even those soldiers who aren't wounded, but they do carry emotional wounds as well. So we are very thankful. I am blessed. Today I accept this not for me, but for every veteran who bled, who gave something for this country. Well, I have a recognition and honor of a Purple Heart country, and so I don't know whether you want to take that one or, or um, Grant, but I also have one that has your name on it, <laughs> that Sergeant EF, Johnny Griffiths, Purple Heart and Bronze Star recipient. Oh. 